Why does this... Can't you just be a shirt? Hello there, internet. I am using fancy lighting today. Let me know how it goes. So last week I made a video called What is Asexuality? where I talked about what asexuality is. What I didn't do was I didn't talk about what asexuality isn't. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I also want to clarify something that I said in my last video. So when I was talking about gray sexuality, I said something along the lines of it being like for people who are questioning their sexuality. I meant that in addition to and not in replacement of. So what I mean is, gray sexuality is not just a, I might be asexual, it's not a questioning identity, but it could be a questioning identity. There are people who just identify as gray sexual because they experience little to no sexual attraction, and that's the word that feels right for them. That may have came across, I don't know, I just wanted to clarify that because when I watched it back later I was like, eee! But now what asexuality is not. Asexuality is not abstinence. There is nothing religious or saving for marriage or anything about that with asexuality. Yes, they can coincide, but one does not equal the other. I don't know if you know this, asexual people have sex. Not all of them, don't take that as a general rule, but asexual people can and do have sex. Along those lines, asexuality is not somebody who is waiting to have sex. It is not somebody who is waiting until the right time. It is not somebody who is waiting until marriage. It is somebody who doesn't experience sexual attraction. I ain't waiting for nobody! I remember back in college, before I came out as asexual, one of my friends was like, I really admire your choice of being abstinent. And I was like, oh, no, 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 no. That's not what's going on here. Asexuality is not having standards. A lot of people will equate demisexuality to having standards because they'll go, well, yeah, I wouldn't sleep with a guy on the first date either. It's different. When you have standards that you set for yourself, it is upon your own choice. So you can say, yes, I won't have sex until I form an emotional bond with somebody. But it's different from saying, no, I don't experience sexual attraction until I form an emotional bond with somebody. Was that thunder? Do pray tell. Asexuality is not somebody who's just a late bloomer. Okay, we have bloomed, we are flowers, we are tulips, we are daisies, we are daffodils. We are here enjoying the sun and the water. We have bloomed, everybody. Hello. I ain't late to anything, let alone to bloom me. And finally, this is a big one, asexuality is not because of autism, it's not because of trauma, it's not because of a disorder. Asexuality is a sexuality all and of its own and does not relate to any of those things. Again, can they coincide? Yes. Somebody who has autism can also be asexual. Somebody who has experienced trauma can also be asexual. But they do not equate to each other. That's not why I am asexual. There you have it. Those are things that asexuals are not or things that asexuality is not. Nothing is wrong with you. Okay, let me just say that again. If you are asexual or identify on the asexual spectrum, nothing is wrong with you. You are a human, you exist in this world, and that is who you are. Like I said in the last video, I am not an expert on the subject, I am just a person who identifies as asexual, and I'm just explaining it to you how I understand it to be. If you have comments, questions, or concerns, leave them down in the comment section below and we can chat about it. That's why it's there. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'm gonna go on a walk and I will see you guys next time. Bye! I'm on the right track, baby, I was born this way, ayy! That'll attract people. I feel like I'm doing like some anime pose. Well, pew, 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 pew. Ooh.